Hey everyone, it's Christina from Happily Hitched. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of how you can use your All Seated account. This is a great tool for guest management for all of your wedding events, assigned seating for guests, and for creating event floor plans. So first you're going to receive an email from us to get access to your event. Once you open up the email, which you can see an example right here, you're going to want to click on the link um, to go and view your event. Once you um, have clicked on the link and to get started, it's going to take you to a page where you're going to see all seated at the top right here and have the ability to either register for an account if you don't have one already or log into an existing account if you already have one. And so once you've done that, it'll take you um, to your dashboard page. And this is the dashboard right here. You can go into seating and see the floor plan layout if it's already been completed and see how all the tables are set up. So I'm just going to click on seating here and we can see um, the wedding planner has completed the floor plan and so that's populated for us and we see, you know, the layout. This is Riverside and the Potomac. You've got catering area, storage space, all of these tables, a lounge area and all that. Um, a really cool thing is you can also see your event in 3D imaging and walk the whole flow of your event. So right now we're in 2D. I'm just going to click on 3D so you can just begin to see. And this is a 3D aerial view right here. If we want to have a first person view, we click on that. And it can let's zoom out a little bit so you can see more of the space. But you can see like what your tables would look like and what the chairs and you've got the table numbers uh, hovering over across I'm sorry hovering above the tables so you can see what all of that looks like but it just begins to help you get the feel for the event so now I'm going to switch back to the 2D view and we're going to go up now to this guest tab right here we're going to start to import our guest into the all seated account. You can choose to do so. There's an, a couple of different ways you can import guests from Facebook if that's an option for you, if you'd like to do that. You can also use Excel. And um, since we're going to be doing a lot of this guest management already in your IO Planner account, we're really primarily using all seated for um, assigning guest seating. So we're going to want to get our list into all seated Excel document format and import the guest list and begin seating our guests at their table. So I'm now using Excel. I want to load a file. I'm going to browse a file here on my desktop. And the really important thing to remember um, for all seated, it's really important if you're going to seat a guest at individual table, I'm sorry, at individual seats you need to have each individual guest on a line of its own inside of the Excel document before you upload it and import it into All Seated um, in order to seat guests at tables within your floor plan. So now that I've uploaded that, I wanna click Import. And now it's populated all of my guests right here inside of All Seated. Um, we've got all of the names here. And so now I wanna go um, into the seating tab to begin seating these guests at the tables. So I'm back into seating and um, on the left hand side right here you're going to see a couple different options. You'll see floor plans, objects, and guests. And now we want to select guests and so it's populated <clears throat> it's populated our guest list right here on the side. Right now, if you can see, these chair icons are in gray, but as you begin seating your guests, the chair icon is going to change to orange to let you know that that guest has been assigned a seat. So now we can click on any table we'd like, and a window will pop up. And a couple things you can see here. So when you cl click on object, you see some information about this table. Um, you can click on chairs. You can, you know, click on a chair to remove or add it. If you, you know, say you've got a long table and you've got some, uh, like a long farm table and you've got chairs on the ends of the tables but you don't need it, you can click on a chair to remove 
or add it. And then if we go to guest, click on it here, it says six out of six seats available. So basically right now it's showing that we don't have any guests sitting at this table. And to fix that, we're gonna click on the guest names back over here. So I'm just gonna minimize that. Click on these guest names and we're gonna begin to add them to these tables. So I want to, let's see, add these four people. Actually, let's make it six so we've got a full table. I'm adding these first six people to this table. And now we've got a full table. One thing to mention before we move on is there's a list of cool features up here at the top that are really helpful. You can use this ruler, ruler feature to measure the distance on a floor plan. There's a grid so you can have things nice and straight. Um, when you're creating your floor plan, you can turn that off. You can make a minimum distance between tables if you need, you know, you, you know how much space you need at the, uh, for the floor plan and you want to make sure that your tables are all spaced a certain amount apart. You can click on this and zoom in and out of your floor plan. This feature is very helpful. This is going to show you as you begin to add people to your tables, which tables still have room, which tables are full. As you can see, we added six people to this table and it only holds six people. So now that table is full. And then, you know, say I wanted to add a seventh person to this table. It's going to turn red because now that that table has been overseated, as you can see here. So I actually want to remove that person from the table because we don't want an overseated table. We can also um, print out our, our floor plan when we're ready to do so and also create a PDF from it and save it. So now that we have a table that's full, we can choose exactly where we want each guest to be seated at that table. We're gonna wanna click on the table itself and then we wanna click on this chair icon right here in the bottom right hand corner to begin assigning seats exactly where you'd like your guests to sit at the table. So what we're gonna do is just simply click on a guest name and drop it at the table. You don't need to click and hold it while dragging. Um, just click on the name once and drop it at the seat you'd like them to sit at. So we're just gonna keep doing that until each of our guests is sitting exactly where we want them to. Okay, and so we've got all of our guests at the table, so it's great. So we're gonna go ahead and go down here and click close assign because now we're done seating that table. You can also, if you'd like to, switch seats with another table. So say I put all of these people um, who are supposed to be sitting together at the wrong table though in my floor plan. And so I actually want to switch them with this table right here. So I can come down here and click switch with table. And I want to switch them here. And now they've, they've moved. So that's a pretty simple and um, nice feature to be able to move those seats. Again, a lot of this work will have already been done in Aisle Planner um, in terms of which guests are sitting at which table. Um, and so when you access all seated, the floor plan layout should be complete. The guests will be um, at their assigned tables, even though they're not necessarily in their assigned seats. And so really all you should have to do is log in and assign your guests the specific seat you'd like them to have at their table. You can also invite in other key planning partners by going to, back to the details tab here at the top. This could you know, be your fiance, your bridesmaids, your mom, um, just so that they can see the layout as well if they'd like to. Um, and so we're back here at our dashboard now. We're gonna invite a user in under um, add vendor. 
And so say I want to invite a family member or friend, I'll just simply click on other because they're not in a certain vendor category and I'll select that. And so say, you know, I'm just gonna use myself as an example. Actually, let's do this. And it says, you know, there are no matches for this person, so I do want to invite them. So I'm going to click Invite, and I'm going to click um, you would be putting, you know, the name of your friend or family member, but I'm just going to put Christina Carter, and I'd love her to... come into my event. I'm going to click invite and you can choose what you'd like your friend or family member to be able to to do and see. So you can either, you know, allow them to add objects to your floor plan. Don't know if you like them to do that or not, whether you like them to move objects or renumber. Maybe we just want them to be able to view um, view the reports and nothing else. So we don't want them to change anything, but we do want them to see what everything looks like. So we've adjusted our permissions and now we'll simply click invite and it will send them an email to invite them in um, as a key planning partner into your all seated account. You can also do the same thing for any of your vendors. You can go back here and depending on which vendor category they're in, you can just invite them in so they can see the floor plan, particularly say if it's your caterer or the cake um, uh, person, or your event designer, or your DJ, people who would like to be able to see this floor plan, you can simply invite them in. And that is a brief overview of All Seated. Um, please play around with it, you know, ask any questions if you need some help, and um, we hope you enjoy it.